Welcome back guys to another episode. As you can tell, we got pulled over by the police. So coming back from the hill end, got pulled over in the Blue Mountains and uh, we actually got defected. Here's the defect. Um, it just says basically tire size. There was an oil leak from the diffs apparently. And then this says the rear wiper blades broken. I don't know why that's there, but he never mentioned that at all. Uh, it's minor defect, except it needs a full inspection at a authorized unregistered vehicle inspection station. So that basically means it needs a blue slip. Which is a pain in the ass because obviously it's not engineered and it won't pass a full inspection. So we need to get it engineered first and then we need to clear this in 21 days. And it's already been like two weeks. So it's probably not going to happen, but who knows, we'll see. So what we're going to do is we're going to put different tires on it and then there's a long list of other stuff that needs to be done. So we're going to try to engineer 35s just with a different offset and we also need to put like sway bars and god, need to fix the wiring, need to make reverse lights work, put reflectors on, put a cat, extend the exhaust the whole way, uh, fix the dash lights, god what else, mud flaps. Um, uh, fix the oil leaks, which are actually not from the diffs, even though it says here diffs. Uh, where is it? Um, front, rear diffs both leaking oil onto road surface, which I'll get under there and show you. So the diffs just have residue of oil on them. And then if we look back here, there's a lot of oil on everything. And back, and back there, you can probably see the diff looks very oily but it's not actually leaking. There's no oil on the ground under the diffs, but there is a nice patch here. So I cleaned this all off. As you can see from the bell housing here, there's quite a bit of oil. And then also at the front there, you can see some oil coming off the pan. So this was all cleaned with braid cleaner. So it's a rear main seal, that's the main one. And then the front is from, it's not the front main seal, it's the actual sump gasket where the front main case joins, which I fixed before. It's a hell of a lot less than it used to be, but it still is leaking. So I have some pictures of what this looked like before I cleaned it all off. So I'll probably show that video as well. So we're gonna get started with this. So I gotta take the ex exhaust off here. And then the exhaust off back here, which will still leave this front uh, piece up to the um, engine, which I'm gonna try to leave in there, see if it doesn't need to come out. And then obviously, need to do cross member, front and rear drive shafts. Gonna leave the transfer case attached. Uh, we need to do the brake, or the handbrake line. Uh, there's a few cable connectors up in there. So there's speed sensor and all the stuff for the changing of gears. There's also the two pipes there that are for the uh, transmission cooler, which goes to the which goes to the radiator. They need to come off, which head up under there. So I might have to actually take the lines completely off the car. Um, but I don't know. You, they run up there somewhere. Um, also need to fix a few things like that wiring is actually touching it, and it gets pr pretty hot sometimes. Seeing the temps up about a hundred at maximum. Um, then there's just a some reason a wire here or a hose here, which I think is a diff breather I don't know what it's doing down here, but it's sitting on the exhaust You can see that it's made a mark on there So a few things I need to tidy up uh, Now's the best time because the engineer is gonna look at all this and we want it to be nice So it doesn't get us for anything. So I had an exhaust leak thought I knew where it was and yep and you can definitely see right there, all that carbon buildup is the exhaust leak. Same with on the exhaust gasket on both sides. And then right out the side there. So this has four bolts that go on here to hold the exhaust. And uh, you can see that the one at the bottom, so you can see that this one, this one, and this one kind of look like something's been on there. And this one is nice and dirty the whole way down. That's because it had no nut. Not one at all. And the issue with that one is, is you can't actually get up there to actually tighten it. It's really close to the bell housing there. And then you have to go in between the exhaust here, like in between this gap, to get to the nut that's back there. 
and that is uh, really hard to do. So we obviously didn't get it tight last time and that's why it leaked. So we're definitely gonna have to find a new nut and make sure it's tight because that exhaust leak was very annoying. Kind of make it sound like a tractor a little bit, which isn't a nice sound and it was really loud. As you can see, we got drive shaft out, the starter motor's out. Just so we get to those four bolts there that hold the torque converter on, it's in there. Uh, what else? Undid a O2 sensor because it was on the other piece. The second O2 sensor's on this actual first collector. Got rid of the drive shaft back there, the exhaust is out. So yeah, going well so far. Oh, gotta remember to do the dipstick. Can't forget that, that'll be fun. Bet you ATF's gonna come out when I undo that. Also disconnected this shifter uh, from the transfer case and I still gotta pull it out of up there. And also I did disconnect, this is the shifter cable, which is, as you can see, it's disconnected. And um, so yeah, it should all come out fine. Just gotta do some more electrical cables, do the handbrake. transmissions out so to get to the rear main seal we're going to take this uh, flex plate off uh, first I'm just going to clean it with some brake cleaner just spray it down a little bit just getting everywhere in there it's all covered in oil so to undo the flex plate bolts you have to hold the flex plate if you have someone to hold the front crank pulley, it's all good. If not, you're gonna have to make something like this. That's just a bell housing bolt through there with some jagged teeth that bite into the actual uh, flywheel there, as you can see. And there's a spacer on the back because it's actually set off of this surface. And the bolt right there is where it's gonna go. Can't do it with one hand, so I'll put that in. So there it's installed, so now I can actually crack these loose got the flex plate off. See there's lots of oil just residue everywhere and mud as well. Can't really tell exactly where it was coming from. For all I know it was leaking, for all I know it was leaking around this seal on this plate or across the top here where the sump is. Not 100% sure but we're replacing this seal that's in here and we also got a new plate as well with all new bolts. It's all going to be replaced and hopefully it won't leak. Also, I'm pretty sure you have to seal these holes with sealant when you put the threads back in, and um, I'm pretty certain they had it on them. There's lots of like residue in these holes. So I'm pretty sure we did that as well. And um, I think there's a Welsh plug in there. Hopefully it's not leaking out of there. It looks pretty clean in here. Like it hasn't had any oil. Can't really feel any oil residue. It shouldn't be that. It's a new plate with obviously a new seal in there. It's a different color. No idea why. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Also comes with this new seal as well. We'll get the old one off and we'll put the new one on. Alright, so, it's the old one, Ooh, it's driven, ah! <laughs> uh, obviously can't tell, because there's just oil everywhere, up in here, but just gonna clean the surface, clean off the oil. You also have to clean off up in here, up in here there's silicon. Uh. I can get some. Anyway. Anyway, up in there, in that corner, there's silicon, and also in that corner, just in here, you can see there's some there. With this front plate where it meets the actual block, at this bottom crack, you have to put silicon in that little crack there, otherwise oil will leak out. Even with this sump gasket, it will still leak out. You just gotta get rid of all this old stuff, put some new stuff in there. I hope it doesn't leak. As you can see, down in that hole, that's the oil pan. And also behind that main cap, that's also the crankshaft down in there. 
So if your oil if your oil level is too high and you do this, I don't know why it would be that high. That is really that's a lot of oil. But it could leak out if you did it. I drained it because I'm probably going to do the sump gasket and the front main while I'm at it. Scraped the surface where it's going to seal and also gave it a very light sand with about 800 grit. Only very lightly just to get off all the little bits that were stuck to it. Just kind of like everything like that little bit there that's still there. So I'm going to put a little bit of sealant down in the bottom here and then we're going to put the back plate back on. New plates on there. And what you want to do first is these two very long bolts that go up through the bottom. They go up here. You want to tighten these two first. Not really tight. Oh, that one's got a lot of gunk on it in its hole. But you want to tighten these two first. So it pulls this plate actually down and it squishes it on this gasket. Because if you don't do that and you do these back bolts, there will be a gap here. And you do not want that. That'll just instantly leak out a lot of oil. These two first. You see now there's no gap. Then with this side there's a gap there. And now there's no gap. And they're doing that really lightly with the rattle gun, just because they're so long. As you can see, now there's no gap. Now you can do those up to their torque spec, and then you do the others. Flex plates back in, put some sealant on the uh, threads. So hopefully this will not leak anymore. If it's gonna leak, it's gonna be from the sump gasket, but that can be done with the transmission in the car. All right, so I've been busy getting this ready. Got the sump off and everything, because you have to get the, uh, the oil pump here off to get to this gear that we're changing. So that's the oil pump. <clears throat> so now I have the oil pump off, you can really see why I'm changing this. So this is not meant to be that loose. So this is why I'm changing this. Um, and I'm just doing it because I had to do the front main as well. And I also had to do this seal for this sump gasket because it was still leaking around the sump gasket at the front here. So I'm gonna try to get this off. He's, it feels like it's jammed on there. It's probably just uh, seized onto the keyway. So I'm gonna get something to get this off. All right, got the new chain in, as you can see. There's almost none on that side, and there's a little bit on this side, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. See how you time it is, there's a zero on the keyway, and then at the top in the middle, on that tooth, there's also a zero. So you gotta line that zero up with this tooth that has the dot. So once those two are lined up, that's uh, zero timing, so no advance and no retard. You can do plus two and all that as you go around, but it doesn't have a cam or anything, so just gonna leave it at stock. And now to put everything else back on. Pretty much got everything in now. <clears throat> Didn't really film much of it. It was just redoing the sump gasket and putting on the front cover and stuff. Nothing too fancy. So the reason I took the sump off to do the front main is because you have to get the pickup off the oil filter and you can only do that with the pan out. So it gave me a good chance to actually get the whole thing out and redo it all in one go. It's also a brand new sump gasket because I had a spare one. So that's all back in and uh, still a fair bit of stuff to do before I can start it up. Let's hope it's not going to leak anymore. So that's going to do it for this episode guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Still plenty more to do. There's a lot of stuff to do in the engine bay. Uh, a lot of hoses that need to be moved and uh, re-secured because some of them were just floating around. It was never actually done properly. Started to do some of that, so you'll see that in the next episode. Also some exhaust stuff, but didn't really film too much of it. Mainly just got it done. Not too much to see, just welding up some exhaust pipes. And yeah, so on our way to getting it all engineered. Still a lot to do though. Still haven't really done much in here because the dash lights don't work, the reverse lights don't work. Still a lot of other things to do. But anyway, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.